recruiting works great, but you ain't going to recruit anybody if you're paying minimum wage and you ain't going to recruit anybody or retain anybody if you suck. It's time for bookkeeping, beer, and BS. Sean, I'm curious anecdotally what you're seeing, because obviously we had John on Blue Collar Recruiting last night, and he's having no issues finding good people and good people that are sticking around. And kudos, for, like, he he nailed it on the head. He, he's like, I had to look in the mirror and be a hell of a lot better leader than I was being. And that's like, your retention isn't a function of your recruiting, right? Your retention is a function of your leadership. And and I think not everybody is, is as mature as John is. And he's a young guy, but for him to like, call himself out and realize that I thought was very impressive on his part. Um, but are you seeing, let me, let me say this about our businesses, where we're being aggressive and spending money, we're finding people and we're finding really good people. Minneapolis has, has is overstaffed by five people right now, like a really good five people. Um, St. Louis was way understaffed and has gotten more aggressive and kind of dialed things in using the interview tactics that we've talked about on the show before. And all of a sudden that capacity sheet isn't so red anymore and it's starting to turn green. And now we're just kind of fine tuning, like who do we really want on the team? Right. Um, are, is it just us that's starting to see that success? Is it just John or are you seeing this in a, in a, in a multitude of places? And is it only the people that are willing to spend the money to go find it? I, I think those are all fundamental things in any labor market. I, I just do. I mean, it's, it's it's all about supply and demand and labor is in high demand and there's low supply. So that's going to increase your cost. What does that mean? What cost? Not only are you going to have to pay them more, but as far as recruiting before you hire them and have to pay them more, um, you need to spend more on going and fetching them just, just like you would during, you know, if a recession, a deep recession hits, you're going to need to uh, spend a little bit more money or quite a bit more money finding clients. It's just supply and demand. It's really that simple. So I had Dean uh, uh, Smith on a, couple, a week or two ago and um, same thing. He's He's got maybe one or two, uh, too many people and he's hi hiring those leadership roles right now ops manager and we're helping him grow his business and, and so he's he can like he's moving away right like he's moving away <laughs> from his business so he's hiring somebody to basically run his business for him right yeah literally you know he's still an active duty mm -hmm. um and and they're re, uh, relocating him and he's going to be stationed outside of uh outside of the state he's in and and we talked about that and he's he is so comfortable on the way he's trained his culture uh, the help we've get him, given him in screening and finding the right people. And he's, you know, he's, he takes his military background and really, really has developed that into his culture. And it's worked just phenomenal for him. And, and, and he's just a really, really good guy. Anybody that knows him, he's right up there with the best of the best. I mean, whatever he says, take it to the bank. And that's part of his culture and people want to work for him. And, and, you know, he, he's ready to he's not nervous at all I, I you know most people would be nervous about leaving the state and leaving your business he's a, you know he's he's only been in business i think four four and a half years and he's approaching you know close to two million dollars it's like he's over a million and a half in revenue That's crazy. um and, and he's ready to leave it there and let somebody run it for him so yeah. but he had to spend some money to find it he did at he, i think he's in uh, at the atlanta georgia area that market's a little bit easier okay to to recruit then certainly salt lake city and some other ones minneapolis minnesota hey, uh, I, I mean, <laughs> we're in minneapolis we got five too many guys if you're in minneapolis and need some guys let us know because it, it's like super tough labor market but they're out there and we and they're, what, they're, they're they're as good as it gets i'll tell you what jay said last night to me and i think i think it was on live and it wasn't after the conversation you know i think we we're still live and we talked about this at IWCA last year. He came up and we were talking and he had mentioned that, you know, there's a few people that were they're talking, you know, pretty bad about us because we couldn't help them out. And that's fine. That's understandable. Um, and he called him out. He's like, you, number one, you're paying 13 bucks an hour. You know, what the hell's wrong with you? Nobody's going to want to work for you. And then like the other guys, like, you know, well, why don't you put your ego on the shelf for just 30 seconds of your life? And maybe you can have other good things happen, you know? And, and that's not to say that we haven't uh, 
certainly dropped the ball and we haven't we haven't executed perfectly for every client we're building a business that you know that we're breaking some eggs and we're figuring some things out and we're fortunate that we have relationships and colleagues helping us do that um you know and it's it's uh it's a it's it's a crazy business to be really really good at that was it was Again, just with with John in particular, super young dude, like below twenty five, right? I think he's like in his lower twenties, um, and and he had said, you know, recruiting works great, but you ain't gonna recruit anybody if you're paying minimum wage, and you ain't gonna recruit anybody or retain anybody if you suck. Yep. Right, like you can't be a crappy leader. You can't yell at everybody. Uh, that, that was. I still think that was so funny. And you're not going to recruit anybody if you're not willing to spend some money to find them. So he, like he hit it on the head. Like you said, we can, we can, you know, yell from the top of a mountain and preach, preach as much as we want about here's the things that you need to do. But it's really funny when you hear it come back from one of the clients. That's like, what the hell, what the hell's wrong with you guys? You can't pay people that. Like, of course your recruiting's going to suck if you try to pay somebody. This is a guy in a tough market. I mean, he's not, a, you know, he's I'm out like, in um, Connecticut. That's not an easy labor market out there. Let me tell you. you. East Coast, and, and, New York, and he's I mean, he's from a, five to fifteen employees. He's an hour year. out of New York, man. Like that's yep. that's as tough of a place as you can find on the map to to try to hire some labor, and he's having no problem. But he's I mean, as as you always say, mindset, mindset, mindset. Yep. If you're if you're is. woe is me, and everybody sucks, and nobody wants to work, you know, and nobody will work for minimum wage anymore. Of course, you're not going to be able to hire people. Nobody I, I, wants to come work for you.